Washington state laws outline specific rules for landlords and tenants to maintain a great leasing relationship. With around a million tenants, it's a prime location for landlords. Today, we will be breaking down the landlord-tenant laws for Washington state. Welcome back, Loopers. It's Galena with Door Loop. Remember, if you have any specific questions, don't hesitate to contact an attorney. Get our guide to landlord tenant laws on the go from Door Loop's Landlord's Guide series. Click the link in the description. Now let's dive in. What does a rental agreement have to include in Washington state? Generally, the information required for a rental agreement can vary depending on the landlord and tenant and the current state law. However, there are some general guidelines that are usually included in these agreements to prevent any legal disputes between the parties involved. Here's a list of some clauses that landlords must include in their lease. Description of the lease property, rental payments, security deposits, and conditions for eviction and termination of the lease. A rental agreement is required by state laws to be written if the lease is longer than 12 months. However, it's always recommended to provide the lease in written form since it can serve as proof of everything agreed upon. Is Washington a landlord-friendly state? In this case, Washington state isn't considered a landlord-friendly state, but rather a tenant-friendly state. This is because there are are many obligatory disclosures that landlords must provide their prospective tenants at the time of signing the lease document. Additionally, there are some cities in the state that protect their tenants in case the landlord decides to evict them without cause. What are the rights and responsibilities that the landlord must comply with? The landlord is legally allowed to collect rental payments on time, gain the interest earned by the security deposit, and seek a proper eviction process if it's needed. Landlord responsibilities include providing a safe housing environment that complies with local laws. Additionally, the landlord must provide repairs to the unit promptly if they're requested by the tenant, usually within 24 to 72 hours of the notice. If the landlord cannot give tenants these repairs, they may exercise their repair and deduct right. What are the rights and responsibilities that the tenant must comply with? Tenants have the legal right to request information regarding the storage of their security deposit, receive receipts for every payment they make, and live in a habitable unit that complies with local and statewide housing guidelines. A tenant may request a repair service from their landlord if there are any damages that exceed normal wear and tear. In these cases, the landlord must give the requested repair promptly. The tenant must give the landlord proper notice if they decide to request repairs for the unit. Aside from that, the tenant must ensure that the property is kept in good condition so that it complies with housing and state laws. Here's an overview of the general conditions that the tenant must comply with. Keep the unit in good repair, not disturb any other their neighbors or tenants, provide scheduled maintenance to utilities and fixtures, and pay rent on time. General Clauses, Washington Law. The Washington Landlord-Tenant Act can be found in the Revised Code of Washington. However, if you want a general overview of the Washington Landlord-Tenant Laws, make sure to keep watching. Rent Payments. A landlord may request rent payments in any form that they consider appropriate for their property. However, if the tenant decides to pay in cash, landlords must send them a receipt for that payment. According to the Washington Landlord-Tenant Act, there are no current rent control policies in any state, which means that the Washington landlord may charge any amount of rent they consider appropriate for their needs. As for rent increases, landlords may raise rental prices if they want but they must send a 30-day notice. This notice must be sent in every instance of rental increases. However, in Seattle, the landlord may need to send a 60 days notice before raising rent from 10% onwards. Finally, landlord tenant laws allow landlords to charge any kind of late fees they want, and there are no limitations as to the amount of those fees. However, bounce check fees are limited to $40 or the current value of the check. Security deposits. The security deposit amount may be agreed upon by the tenants and landlords. However, keep in mind that there's no limit for the amount a landlord can charge for the security deposit. Regardless of not having any limitations, most landlords tend to charge an amount equal to one month of rent. There is an exception in the city of Seattle, where the security deposit amount may not be higher than one month's rent. When the tenant decides to leave the rental unit, the landlord must return the security deposit within 21 days of the tenant leaving to comply with the law. 
Keep in mind that Washington laws allow landlords to withhold a deposit partially to cover for any extreme damages to the property or breaches to the lease agreement. If the landlord doesn't return the deposit to the tenant within the provided 21 days notice, the landlord may have to pay up to two times the amount of the deposit as well as the attorney fees for the tenant. Lease termination and evictions. According to local landlord tenant laws, tenants may terminate the lease agreement after it ends. However, they must send a particular written notice depending on the type of lease. Month to month notice, 20 days. Quarter to quarter notice, 20 days. And year to year notice, 20 days. A tenant in Washington can also terminate the lease before it ends for any of the following reasons active military duty, unacceptable living conditions, and landlord harassment or domestic violence. On the other hand, at-will tenants with a month-to-month -month lease have to provide 20 days of notice regardless of the circumstances. As for the eviction process in Washington, the landlord can initiate an eviction process if one of the following conditions are met. The tenant doesn't pay rent. The landlord must send a 14 days notice to pay rent or quit. The tenant violates the terms of the lease. The landlord can send a 10-day written notice to comply, and tenant is seen involved in criminal activity. The landlord can send a 3-day notice to quit. For your all lease agreement template for Washington, click the link in the description to download the PDF or Word template. Also, check out our full guide on the eviction process and laws for Washington. Housing Discrimination in Washington Every tenant in Washington is protected by the Washington Law Against Discrimination, meaning that the landlord cannot discriminate against their tenant based on their sex, gender, age, sexual orientation, familial status, etc. It's important to note that landlords cannot retaliate against their tenants since it's illegal. Additional clauses in Washington Landlord's Right to Entry Some states require landlords to send advance notice to their tenant before entering their property. In the case of Washington, the landlord must provide at least 24 hours of notice before entering the property, as long as the reason for entry is justified. However, if there is an emergency happening, the landlord can enter without permission. Before I go on to talk about lock changing in Washington, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more amazing content. Lock changing in Washington. Victims of domestic violence may be able to request to have their locks changed for enhanced protection. Keep in mind that this is just a case of domestic violence or harassment. If the landlord changes the property locks unilaterally, they may face legal consequences. By following the Washington Landlord Tenant Laws, you're ensuring a safer leasing environment for all the parties involved. Remember that the key to avoiding disputes is communicating with the other parties involved to understand their rights and terms for leasing a property. Thank you for watching this video. For more valuable content, join our exclusive Facebook community with the link in the description. And to learn more, feel free to check out these videos. Thank you and have an amazing day.